Top 10 craziest prison escapes of all time. Breaking out of prison is a challenging feat. Many prisons have high security features such as CCTV, motion detectors, massive walls, barred windows, barbed wire, electric fencing, and armed guards. However, some prisoners still go beyond the ordinary as they evade these securities to escape. According to a stat from the U.S. Bureau of Justice, approximately 2,000 people escape prison yearly. With this vast amount, some are still termed legendary. That is, the way they escape from prison isn't ordinary. In this video are 10 craziest prison escapes of all time. Let's get started. Number 10. The 1962 Alcatraz Prison Escape A shocking discovery was made on June 12, 1962, at the Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, that inmate Frank Morris and two brothers, John and Clarence Anglin, escaped. This daring escape baffled the authorities because Alcatraz was over 1.25 miles off San Francisco's coast and was so heavily guarded to the extent that the place was named The Rock. This prison is a popular one in the United States. It has armed guards at every post, strong iron bars on every cell, and choppy water off white. Escaping from there seems impossible. The penitentiary was opened in 1934. Between that period to 1962, there were 13 failed escape attempts. Still, it didn't deter Morris and the Anglin brothers. Although the penitentiary later closed for good in 1963, the trio fled and didn't wait for its closure before they ran. Being an armed robber and a career burglar, Morris was the smartest of them, and he was the one that brought in the Anglin brothers and Alan West, who was also in prison for car theft. They stole spoons and saw blades and spent over a half a year enlarging the ventilation ducts in each of their cells. Morris always plays his accordion during the process to dampen the noise. They usually covered the ducts with cardboard, resembling the cell wall during the day. The vents led to a utility tunnel where they stored a 6 by 14 foot inflatable raft made of raincoats they had accumulated. Most resourceful, they had created dummy heads and left them poking out of their cell beds. When the time finally came for their escape, West was left behind because he failed to remove the grill of his ventilation duct, so it became stuck. Morris and the Anglins meanwhile arrived at the utility tunnel, grabbed their raft, slid down a pipe from the prison roof, and snuck to the shore to inflate their raft. After their escape, the FBI launched an inspection, which concluded 17 years later that they were all dead. Number 9. Frank Abagnale's Escape from Atlanta Prison Frank Abagnale is the notorious con man who committed bank fraud and successfully impersonated pilots, lawyers, and doctors to avoid detection and inevitable imprisonment. Nemesis caught up with him in 1969 when the Air France flight attendant recognized him and informed the police. He was detained and spent six months in French and Swedish prisons before being sent to America. On arrival at JFK Airport, Abagnale escaped from the plane and fled to Canada, but he was quickly arrested and sent to federal prison in Atlanta. In 1971, Abagnale escaped the federal prison. The way he planned his escape was so weird. One of his friends supplied him with a fake prison inspector card and a forged FBI business card. He then convinced the guard that he was an undercover prison inspector who desperately needed to contact the FBI. Abagnale called his friend, walked out of prison comfortably, got into a car, and then drove away. Number 8. Choi Gapbok's Escape Choi Gapbok is a 53-year-old Korean yoga expert who has spent over 23 years doing yoga. He's a criminal with over 20 years behind bars. Choi first escaped by slipping through the bars of a bus conveying prisoners to jail. He was captured two days after that escape. He made a more remarkable escape from the cell on September 17, 2012. When the guards were asleep, Choi covered his pillow with a blanket to depict it as if he was sleeping. Then he applied ointment over his torso. After doing this, he attempted one of the craziest jail escapes. He squeezed through the tiny food slot at the bottom of his cell and escaped the prison. He was apprehended six days after the escape again and detained in a cell with a tiny space. Still, 
his daring escape through a small food slot made the journalist name him the Korean Houdini, after the famous American escape artist, Harry Houdini. Number 7. Richard Matt and David Sweat's Escape from Clinton Prison Richard Matt and David Sweat break away from the Clinton Correctional Facility in Dannemora, New York, on June 6, 2015. Joyce Mitchell, a worker in the prison tailor shop, immensely helped them. She developed a sexual relationship with both inmates, provided them with smuggled tools, instigated them to kill her husband, and fled to Mexico. Both prisoners used power tools to cut holes in the back of their adjacent cells, leading to a six-story high catwalk that provided access to various pipes and tunnels. After they cut into a two-foot wide pipe, they traveled like 400 feet inside it before escaping through a utility hole in the town of Danamora. However, Joyce, who had planned to meet the pair and provide a getaway vehicle, was nowhere to be found. With this failed plan of them, they only escaped being arrested again. Police killed Matt on June 26, while Sweat was captured two days later. Number 6. The Magic Key Escape in an escape that sounds strange is that of three inmates that escape in the UK by memorizing the outline of a key. Andrew Roger, Matthew Williams, and Keith Rose work in the prison's metal shop and made all the needed tools for their escape in the shop. They memorized the outline of a guard's master key and made a replica that essentially load them to open any door in prison during their escape. Apart from this duplicate key, they made a 25-foot steel ladder and a homemade gun. They were caught four days later while trying to map out a plan to steal a plane. Number 5. El Chapo's Tunnel Escape Joaquin Guzman, popularly known as El Chapo, is a Mexican drug lord who heads a drug cartel before his arrest. When he was first arrested, he tried to escape by bribing guards in his prison to assist him in his escape. He then escapes by climbing into a laundry cart and out. He lived freely for the next 13 years without any problem. In 2014, he was arrested again and tried another escape. This time, a weird one. He escaped through a mile-long underground tunnel built beneath the maximum prison showers. However, he was recaptured again in 2016 and is still in prison. Number 4. Ronald Silva's Escape in 2012, Ronald Silva, a Brazilian drug trafficker, escaped prison as a woman. When his wife came to visit him during the weekly visit, she gave her husband the cloth she was wearing and then changed them into a spare cloth she had in her purse. Silva later shaved the hairs on his arms and leg and applied fake nails, lipstick, a wig, heels, and the outfit his wife left for him. With all this remodification, Silva walked past the guards and out onto the street without anyone noticing. However, when he tried walking toward his friend, a clever cop noticed that he was having difficulty with the heel, which isn't supposed to be for a woman. The cops arrested him on the spot. Number 3. Alfred Hines, the Houdini Hines Alfred Hines was arrested in 1953 for a jewelry robbery and was sentenced to serve 12 years behind the Nottingham prison bar. Hines, who protested his innocence, managed to escape the prison after sneaking through the locked doors and climbing over a 20-foot prison wall. After six months, he was arrested. Hines filed a lawsuit claiming the arrest was illegal and was granted a trial. At the courthouse, Hines had an accomplice smuggle in a padlock and install screw eyes into one of the washroom stalls. When two guards escorted Hines to the washroom and removed his handcuffs, Hines pushed the guards into the stall and locked them inside. He was captured at the airport five hours later and was sent to Kelmsford Prison. Within 12 months, Hines escaped from Kelmsford. He was arrested two years later and served the remainder of his sentence. Number 2. Jack Shepard, Escape King Jack enjoyed a near-celebrity status for his multiple prison escapes. Though he is a carpenter by The Apprentice, he decides that a life of crime is much more rewarding, and he begins to take it as a way of living. When he was first arrested in 1724, he escaped within three hours of his arrest. He broke through the ceiling and lowered himself to the ground with a rope made from bedsheets. 
He got arrested three weeks later and escaped again using the same stunt with a bedsheet, but this time through the window. When he was suspended for the third time, he was sentenced to death. On the day of his execution, he loosened a bar from his window and escaped wearing ladies' clothing. The fourth time he was arrested, he was secured with 300 pounds of iron weights and placed under constant surveillance before he was executed on November 16, 1724. And finally, number one is John Dillinger's deceptive escape. John Dillinger, a bank robber and a murderer, escaped jail twice. His first escape was from prison in Ohio with the help of his friends. During his second arrest, he was taken to Lake County Jail in Crown Point, where the jail officials described the prison as an escape-proof one. However, Dillinger escaped the so-called escape-proof jail with a fake gun. There is still debate about what precisely the weapon was made from and how the escape happened. Popular opinion said that he used a wooden gun painted black with shoe polish. Guards were fooled by the weapon and allowed Dillinger to leave the prison. While he escaped, he was killed in a shootout with the FBI a few months later. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you may not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care. Do tell us your views in the comment section.